I want to have a look here at our gradient of a gradient of a line and what that means. So I want you to think for a moment about walking upstairs. Okay, as you're walking up the stairs, you are most stairs move up at a steady rate. And so that means that we would have a kind of a slope that we're walking upwards. Okay. Some stairs though, you can have very long shallow steps and in that case the gradient of this line that's nowhere near a steep that's quite a shallow slope okay so same with walking up a hill some hills are going to be very steep to walk up and some hills are going to be very long and slow to walk up and some hills are going to go up and then steady and then up some more and change slope so that's what we're talking about. The gradient of a line is talking about the slope, how steep something is, and talking about whether we're going upwards or whether we are going downwards. So you're going up the stairs, down the stairs. Okay. So the key idea here is there's a formula that we need to know, and that is this. That the gradient is equal to the rise over the run. This is one of the most important formulas you need to know. And what that talks about is it talks about if I'm doing something like this stair here, I'm just going to take this little section, I'm just going to zoom in on that little piece here. So I'm just going to zoom in on that section right there. And I'm going to think, right, well, here's my line. And I'm making, and there's my step that I'm walking up and down. Okay, so here's the rise, because I'm rising up, and here's the run how far along I step. So that's how wide my foot is and that's how high up I need to step. Okay, rise, run. And the gradient, which is what we're trying to find here, the gradient is equal to the rise over the run. So let's calculate the gradient for a particular example. So let's say I had a line and that had a run of 6 and a rise of 5. What would the gradient be? Well, we've got our formula. Gradient is equal to rise over run. And in this case, we're rising up by 5. So it's a rise of 5 divided by the run of 6. So a gradient, and often we use the letter M to denote gradient. Our gradient is 5 over 6. Okay, that's one example. What about a different example? What if our gradient is going downwards, okay, like rolling down a hill? So now let's think about that. So in that case, the distance on this side is 3, and the distance along the bottom there is 7. Now because I'm going down, the gradient is going to be negative. Okay, and so it's going to be minus the rise over the run. Or another way of thinking about it, to get from here, if I'm going down the stairs, I'm stepping down. So I'm going down by 3, which means I'm going down by 3 over my run across by 7. So in that case, I would have a gradient m of negative 3 over 7. So that's if I've got li um, lines going up, lines going down. There's two other types of lines that I could have, and that is our horizontal lines and our vertical line. So horizontal, like our horizon, think about that. That's our horizon is straight across. Okay, we look at the sunset and the horizon is straight. Vertical means I'm going up and down. So a horizontal graph um, line, always think about that. Can I make a triangle out of a straight line? No, because there's no run going upwards, is there? So I'm not running up by anything. I'm going alongwards, but I'm not going up and I'm not going down. So in this case, our rise is zero. I've still got a run, but I have a rise of zero. And in this case, our gradient would be zero, 
of 0 divided by anything, rise divided by run, 0 divided by anything, is going to be 0. But what if I've got a vertical line now? So if I've got a vertical line, then again, I'm not going along this time. I'm going down, so I've got a rise. I'm going up or down, but I'm not going along. I've got no run, so the run is 0. So in terms of our gradient, rise over run, our rise could be a number, say 5, divided by 0. Now if you type that into your calculator, it's going to come back and say MA error. And the reason it says error is because we can't say how many lots of 5 are there in 0. And so what it means is it's undefined, it doesn't exist, it's not a possible answer.